living in a small space need not cramp your style or comfort. Take it from Nina Santa Maria, condo dweller who is also an interior designer. The biggest advantage of a small space is uh, less maintenance. It's easier to clean. It's easier to maintain. It's easier to furnish also. It's less expensive because you just need a few pieces and you're good. With her own design firm, Grupo Santa Maria, Nina has been creating spaces for two decades now, bringing visions of beautiful interiors to life. A creative process starts as a design brief. So when we meet with a client, we try to find out what they want uh, for the space, uh, who are going to be the occupants, and then we come up with a concept, and that's where we make all the plans. And uh, once the client approves all of that, that's where the magic happens. Nina took us on a tour of her ever-evolving space, her 38-square-meter home, and introduced us to her chic yet practical way of designing a studio-type condo unit. I guess what you could call my style is a little bit eclectic, but to be honest, I'm trying to be minimal, which only tries to keep what's important a bed to sleep in, a couch to lounge in, and a little office for me to work when I'm at home. It's a flexible and comfortable space. Uh, when you enter my house, the first thing you'll see is this little welcome wall or like a foyer. I honestly change this every, I don't know, a few, every few months. So I just recently mixed up my, my, my paintings and my posters. One of the most versatile pieces of furniture you could ever get for your apartment, it's called a bar cart and it can serve as a side table. It can also serve as a mini bar and sometimes I've even used bar carts as planters. It can also be a bookshelf so you can put books here in magazines. We move to the dining area. This is solid marble. These are one. This is one of the few pieces that I got when I was starting out. It's made of Nara, and I paired it with modern chairs. So it's good to mix styles. I have modern chairs, I have traditional tables. I have a Nara bookcase, which I got from a thrift store in Kamuning. <laughs> so I got it for a really good deal. And then I have this lamp, which was designed by Daniel Latore Cruz, a really good friend. This is what you call open plan because it doesn't have any divisions in between the spaces. So to take advantage of that space, if you notice, I didn't use a coffee table because the more, if I put a table, it's gonna constrict the movement in this area. I really need to work with kind of compact furniture because my space is small. So if I use a couch that has a back, it's gonna be bulkier. Make sure that it's kind of multifunctional. It can double as a, as a rest as a kind of like a side table. And uh, if you notice, I used really neutral colors. I used gray, I used white. Um, this is a rug that is also kind of strategic because it defines this space as the living room. I really like this piece in particular because uh, it serves as a side table and it's also storage. As you can see, you can put stuff inside. I have my Christmas lights. <laughs> and then it can also be a coffee table if you put it like in a tight space. Uh, it's also a stool, like you can really sit on it. It's sturdy enough for you to use it as a stool. Uh, this was designed by my friend Ito Kish and it was actually named after me. So this is called the Santa Maria stool. One way for the space to feel fresh and light is to put a plant. So this is my favorite plant, it's called the jasmine tree. Uh, if you notice, it makes a big difference if you put um, a plant inside. It will really bring life to the room, literally. <laughs> I put a huge mural here. This is by my friend Gino Tioseco. There's a certain energy that artists bring into their artwork. So I really like using big scale paintings because it defines the room. Uh, this is a queen sized bed. People were like, are you sure you're gonna fit a queen size bed in your small space? And I was like, yes, I think so, as long as I sacrifice some things, which are side tables. And that's um, the reason why I had to put wall lamps over here, because uh, this frees up um, the space over here. And this can be a reading lamp. And if you wanna highlight your painting, you could also use it as a spotlight. Or if you want it to be an uplight, you could also turn it up. Instead of having like a full-on closet, I just opted to use for curtains 
because that's gonna make everything just flat and you don't really have doors that open and it's gonna take up space and also since comfort is very important to me, I really wanted a big bed, an orthopedic bed. I work long hours in a day, and when I wake up from a long sleep, that's the only reward I need, like a really good sleep and my back is rested. So don't scrimp on the really important things. So if you notice, my furniture are mixed styles. So how does it all tie together? I think the key is keep everything neutral, but stick to um, consistent accent colors so just by looking at this space you know that I like green <laughs> I like green I like pink I like orange so all my accent colors are just revolving around three colors I also have compact sized um, pieces so even if they're different styles they're not outdoing each other they're very well used so you know it's really it's really a living uh, space. I have plants, I have fish, I have a dog <laughs> and we all live harmoniously in this space because um, it, it was really well chosen pieces and not necessarily expensive. <laughs> it's easy to be overwhelmed by these design rules so for Nina it helps to focus on your essentials as a homeowner. My number one non-negotiable is comfort. It needs to be comfortable. If I feel like the space is already getting cramped, I have to start getting rid of furniture or, you know, I move it somewhere else. Number two, it has to look pleasant. That can only be achieved if the place is clean and spacious, right? Number three, I, I really like um, being surrounded by things that I love. So art that I like, books that I read, furniture that's just the right size for my space. So it's comfort, you know, aesthetics, has to look nice, and it has to be meaningful. Like, I, I want to it to feel like home. Whatever style you pursue, a home should not be bound by its limitation in space, but instead it should be guided by the owner's personality and inspirations. This is so spacious, this part Isn't right it, here. Right? And this is not even the living area, this is just like the this entrance is the kitchen. in the kitchen. Yeah, living area, guys, is over, over there. there.